Today we're going to talk about my all new track wheel setup and I've got an E30 M3 right behind me. What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. We are down in Pleasanton at Apex Race Parts. My brand new FL5 is on the lift right now. I'll explain to you in a second what it's doing up there. Some really cool things happening today. But uh, we've got a very historic E30 M3 right behind me. Super, super cool car. I actually haven't seen one of these in person since God, it was almost high school for me. That's a long time ago. Super cool, super, super cool. So this is the first car that kind of got things started for Apex. And uh, they modeled some wheels for this car. They made race wheels for this car and other E30 M3 owners out there can now enjoy their car on track with some proper track wheels, which is what we're doing here today. Using a state-of-the-art 3D scanner, Joe is now scanning the wheel well of my FL5. All of the hard points, including the brake and the brake discs and the suspension arms, so that they can create the perfect wheel for the FL5. So if you guys recall, on uh, actually all my other cars that I track, I've always gone with uh, Titan 7. Uh, I you know, Titan 7 has been great for me. It's been a great wheel. It's been plenty durable for my purposes. I haven't personally had any issues with them. Um, I'm, as you, as I mentioned before, I love going with local companies. I like supporting my local companies. People are closer to me. Um, anyone, anytime I can help a local company develop some new parts for whatever car it is I might happen to own, I'm all for it. Apex is very well known in the BMW and Porsche community. They've been in the game for a very, very long time. They're not strangers to motorsport and they are widely used for attracting enthusiasts worldwide. Um, it's not quite as well known in uh, the, the Honda community, but we're going to uh, see if we can help change that uh, with the new wheel setup that we're going to be putting on the FL5. I like a lot of the things that I see them doing. Um, I think their philosophy and uh, what they're trying to achieve here is very closely in line to what I'm trying to do with my vehicle as well. Um, I would even say some of the things that they do are even more extreme than I'm probably ever going to end up doing with this car, but that's great. Uh, they're really here to push the boundaries of the wheel industry uh, for not only uh, BMWs and Porsches, but uh, Type R's, Honda's, other vehicles alike. So we're going to let uh, Joe finish up here. We're going to go next door at some point uh, to storage. We'll have a look at some wheels there and uh, maybe you guys can help me pick the new finish for my new wheel. Alright, so we're done with the scanning portion of the uh, wheel setup. Right now we just walked over next door to storage, pulled a couple of sets of tires that we want to test fit on the car. Um, it turns out that the new C8 Corvette has the same bolt pattern as the FL5 and the FK8 Civic Type R, which is 5x120. So there are some 18x10 inch wheels for a C8 Corvette that we're test fitting on the car right now. Let's go take a look. <laughs> That's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got a new hire in the uh, office. That doesn't yeah. even. That's <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that doesn't even look that bad. Look at that. That's that stock camber. Yeah, I mean, Grant's car's not on the ground yet, but still. Well, right, right. It's not even stock compressed. Camber. There's good good inner clearance for sure. Yeah. I mean, so I, we can go inboard a ton. I don't think anybody wants to run an 11 on the rear of a Type R, though. <laughs> <laughs> That rotation. I don't know so 18 by 10. Did you watch my lap, by the way? No. Pretty much fits. That's a Pirelli slick on there, so the sidewall is a little bit taller than what you typically run with a uh, 200 tread wear tire, but it looks like it looks like it would be just fine. We'd have to see what it looks like with the car on the ground. God, look how wide these spokes are. 
And look how it got, it's so crazy. It's so different seeing it on video, guys. And I probably can't convey this since you guys are watching a video. But uh, these are really, really deep cuts right here. Super, super deep cuts. You know, plenty of brake clearance, it looks like. Yeah, lots of brake clearance. Okay, so we're done with the test fitting for now. Uh, now we're in the storage warehouse next door. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some colors. I'm probably gonna go with the VS 5S wheel on my car, uh, which I believe all of these wheels are down here. Um, these represent the four available colors as of right now. Take a look and let me know which one you think will look best on my black FL5. I kind of have my idea, but I want to hear what you guys think. All right, so up first is the brushed clear aluminum. I love this look because you can really see the granular characteristics of the aluminum. Kind of hard to see that on camera, but it, it looks really, really nice. My biggest concern here is brake dust because they look incredible when they're clean. Black, that's a satin black. Uh, black always looks good. Black always looks good on, on basically anything, and especially when you're talking about a track car. Uh, probably the easiest maintenance wise, uh, you're not really gonna see brake dust all too much. But yeah, it's, it's a little, little played out for me. Uh, I've, I've always had black wheels on my track car, so I think I'm ready for something different. Anthracite. I was kind of leading in this direction. And for whatever reason, it looks way lighter on camera than it does in person. Uh, that's a darker metallic gray. Really kind of hard to, to show that in the picture. I love this spoke design, by the way. Look how concave that looks. I love this spoke design. Full forged wheel, super strong. Okay, so there's the anthracite. And then here is satin bronze. This looks so nice in person. And I think this will do well with brake dust as well, is kind of my, my take on it. Kind of a more matte finish versus the shinier anthracite. So I, th I think I'm leaning towards the bronze guys, but let me know. Now that you saw the, the wheel colors, let me know in the comments below what color you think I should go with. All right, so we got some Apex wheels on display here in the waiting room. I figured I want to show you guys some of the uh, key differences between Apex and Titan 7. The main thing that I personally noticed, okay, is this knurling right here. This edge or the edges on the knurling here, that's about where the barrel starts to come back out and offers really good big brake kit clearance for those aftermarket calipers that a lot of us like to run. So they think about all these things. I mean, they are motorsport focused. You know, and again, Titan 7 is a great company. Uh, Apex Wheels, great company. There are some differences between the two. If I can help develop something for a brand new platform, and make it better for you, myself, and the rest of the community who's gonna be tracking these cars, and hey, I'm, I'm all for it. So we are wrapping up test fitting day here at Apex. They're done scanning the car, got all the pictures that they needed. Um, we are going to be visiting here again at some point in the future. Uh, I have my ideas for what I wanna do for wheels on my car. Um, I just want to do a little more research and kind of decide what class I think I'm going to be running the car in because uh, certain classes will have restrictions as far as uh, tire compounds and tire sizes and whatnot. So what 
what direction I think I'm going to be going will kind of help determine ultimately the size wheel that I end up going with. So um, I'll keep in touch with Joe. My goal, what I would ultimately like to do is make use of the extra wheel well space in the FL5 versus the FK8. Now here's the good news for FL5 and FK8 owners alike. They will be making an 18 by nine and a half plus 45 wheel, which will be good for both platforms. Um, I'm personally gonna be looking into something wider than that. I don't wanna go staggered, I wanna keep it squared but I do want to go wider. So just gonna look at my options, talk to Joe a little more, he'll talk to his engineers. We'll come up with a game plan and when a prototype of some type becomes available to look at, we will look at those uh, items together. I will share that journey with you guys. So anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content like this. We're using this car for a lot of development type stuff. So, uh, you know, stay hooked in right here. But until next time, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi and I'm out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out, not sudden now my own soul but those real ones they coming now oh look who's reaching out oh friends